to today's video. Don't kill me. I know I've been gone for like three months. Um, I really have no excuse other than I my, life gets busy and I'm trying to make YouTube more of a priority going throughout this year. I don't know. I'm just kind of in this weird place in life where I'm like, do I pursue makeup? Do I pursue YouTube more? I definitely want to train horses. So I'm just kind of figuring all this out right now. So that's why I haven't been here that much. But for Christmas, I got some lighting. That is what is so different. Obviously, I have a different background. I'm in a totally different room. Totally different house. Um, from most of my videos. So anyways, today it's the day we're gonna get started on our videos again. So today I'm gonna recreate another Deanna Green Devin Torito makeup look. This is one they did, honestly I don't even remember, this was like probably a solid year ago at this point. This one. So I'm gonna recreate this, I've been wanting to recreate this for forever and then I went on Instagram and asked you guys if you wanted to see this first or the full face elf video that I have coming as well. And you guys voted this, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this one today. So if you'd like to see how I get this, then just keep on watching. So for this look, I'm gonna be using the new Too Faced Pretty Rich Palette. Um, the reason I am is because of this blue shade right here. It is beautiful. And when it first came out, I swatched it and I was like, oh my gosh, that is the blue because blue she used is a very like periwinkle blue. Um, and it's kind of hard to find. So I went ahead and did my brows. I put some concealer, the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. I'm going to go ahead and set the entire eyelid with the color It's Designer. Just to make sure it's not going to crease. The concealer's not going to crease under our eyeshadows. I love this palette. It's super pigmented and it has some glitter, pressed glitter in here. So you can make some really fun colors. I wore it on um, New Year's. Now I'm going to go in with a little bit of a transition shade. I think I'm going to use... It's cashmere right here on a Sephora collection number 10 brush. They don't make this anymore, but it is a really super fluffy, good blending brush. I'm starting by just blending in my crease, kind of where my brow bone um, is the highest, the arch. And when there's so much fresh pigment on the brush, I just go, I don't really like move wide motions. I'm just in one spot doing very small motions. And then I'll drag it in. Dragging out a smidge to make it kind of winged out on this outer corner. She definitely has it winged out. So I think what I'm going to do, which is weird for me to do because I don't normally do this, but you can tell in her look she has kind of like a smoky gunmetal um, metallic shade like up in her upper crease winged out. So I'm going to take a little bit of this silver spoon color. I'll start with just a little bit at first. I'm going to keep it low in the crease at first. Gosh, I hate putting metallics in my crease. That's like a, a makeup rule that everyone always says, don't put metallic colors or shimmery colors in your crease. It should always be matte, but we're gonna go for it. Gotta recreate that Deanna Green look, you know? So I'm using this to add depth to the crease, then I'm gonna wing it out as well. What I do to wing it out is I bring it towards the end of my tailbone here. Not the tailbone, <laughs> the end, the tail of my brow, and just lightly feather it out. I think that's where I'm gonna leave that one. The blue she has in her eyes is like a really vibrant kind of blue so I feel like I want to put some sort of a white base down maybe to make this blue that I'm gonna put on more vibrant and less um like deep if that makes sense. So I'm gonna take the NYX jumbo eye pencil in the color milk. It's just a white cream eyeshadow. Put a little bit of that and then I'm tapping it out with my finger. Then I'm gonna take Zoeva 226 with that color set the jewel tone that blue color. I'm gonna try it without any Fix Plus or a spray or anything first. Pretty. And then now that I don't have as much product on my brush, I'm just kind of tapping along the edge of my crease and blending it into that like grayish color we just put down. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. And then same thing, I'm gonna take a little bit of this and wing it out. With the blue, this color, I'm gonna make it a little bit more defined of a wing. So I want it to read as blue and not just muddy. Then I'm gonna go in with that last brush we used, the M41, wait, 433? M4, M433. Just very lightly go over the edges there. So then to top it off and make it more periwinkle, bright blue like she has, taking this Stila glitter in Psychic. It's like a marbled blue, white, duochrome kind of thing. Put this right on top. Oh yes, I'm living for this blue right now. I think I'm gonna take a little bit more of the blue, this blue at least, into the crease a little bit more, just to make it even more blown out like in the picture. So specifically right here. 
This really is more like a sheer kind of topper of blue. That's why I'm only putting this one in the crease. Ooh, let me zoom you guys in. I mean, you are as zoomed in as possible, but look at this. Oh, the lights are killing it. I'll dim the lights in a little bit and show you guys for real though. Okay, so I did both of the eyes. I kind of took the wing a little crazier. Um, yeah, I'm already technically primed with the Hourglass number 28 primer. My skin's just really dry, so that's what I like to do. But I'm going to go in again with the Ren Perfect Canvas Primer. Love this one to smooth things out and hydrate the skin. I already put foundation on my forehead also, so I'm not going to put it there. And then I'm going to use the Givenchy Taint Couture Longwear Foundation. Um, I really like this foundation and really a lot of their foundations because they look so much like skin. Um, and Deanna, her skin always looks flawless. At least in the pictures. I mean, I, I couldn't tell you in person to be quite honest. Haven't been that close. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to apply this with a Morphe sponge. I'm gonna go ahead and conceal and highlight conceal and highlight with the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Concealer. Then just to add a little bit of coverage, I'm taking some double wear concealer from Estee Lauder. Then I'm gonna take some Hourglass Mineral Veil Powder and set the under eyes with the sponge. And then I like to do my forehead creases because it creases a lot. Just with any foundation, it always creases there. Then I'm going to take a little bit of powder on a big fluffy brush. This is just a Violet Voss brush. I'm going to set where kind of contour. Just so that when I go in and blend product, blend and not get patchy. But I don't like to set my entire face really heavily because I have more dry skin. If you have more oily skin, set it all you want, girl. Nothing matches me right now because I'm really pale this winter. I'm going to go ahead and highlight my face with the Anastasia Pure Hollywood Highlighter. Love me some glow. I'm going to use this as my brow bone highlight as well. Deanna definitely has something there. I'm going to contour my nose just a smidgen with the Milani Contour Contour Highlight Duo. I don't know. This is the color number two. And this is a Royal and Lane Nickel Brush. And I just kind of stamp down the sides. I don't really contour my nose heavily. I don't like to. Then I'm gonna take some of that highlight just on my fingertip and do the tip of my nose. I love a good glow. At this point I'm gonna spray my whole face with some MAC Fix Plus just to sink everything in and keep me nice and hydrated. And then I'll come back and contour and all that. For the lower lash line I'm gonna keep it pretty simple. Hers is very simple. I'm gonna take silver spoon on um, like a dense brush of some sort and put that on the lower lash line. Just connect it a little bit on this outer corner. And then her inner corner has like a blue du duochrome kind of color. I'm gonna try using Clutch Your Pearls. It's a duochrome, but it looks like it shifts more pink. Yeah, it shifts kind of pink. So I'm gonna lay this down first and then I'm gonna go over it with something else. Okay, so a couple different things. I found a good inner corner highlight. This is the Fenty Beauty like highlighter, kilowatt highlighters in Mojito Mittened. Minted? Mojito. Um, this shade right here, I put it on the inner corner over top of what I had, and I think that's perfect. I'm going to put a little bit on my face. I'm sure Deanna's highlight was not blue, but I love this highlight. It doesn't look super blue on your face. And I really like layering colored highlights like this over top of a base like I already have. And these are so intense. I love them. I feel like that just adds so much to this look to make it even more different. It's definitely more of an editorial look, the way they put the metallic into the crease and they really winged it out and it's super bold. Um, so I think this just vamps it up a little bit more. So it did that. Um, I went in with the Sky Lashes in SL3 because they are a little bit wispy but they're not too long because you don't want to cover up all that blue. Um, for eyeliner, I did line the top of my eye so it would hide the lash band with just some liquid steel liner. Put some Marc Jacobs black liner in the upper waterline to hide the lash band. And then I mixed two for my lower lash line. Um, I wasn't going to put anything in there, but I felt like it needed something. So first I went in with Odyssey, but that was super turquoise. So I needed to tone down the turquoise and do that more like periwinkle color we have. So I went in with a little bit of Mist Me. So turquoise and this like lavender color over top. And it made a really nice color. So that is where we are at now. Let's go ahead and contour. You guys could only see the desk I'm filming with right now. It's a mess. They definitely went for a fierce contour with this look. Um, as you can see in the picture, it's a very like straight up contour. Um, I'm going to go in with, what is this? I always forget what this is called. Um, it's one of the MAC Shaping Power powders. I want to say it's the color like shade. 
I forget. I'll link it down below. And I use this It Cosmetics Angled Brush. And I'm gonna make it kind of fierce. Like I was having a hard time finding a nude lipstick for this look. Um, so we're gonna have to try a couple different ones. To intensify this contour just a little bit more, I'm gonna take the darkest shade from the Kat Von D um, Shade and Light. This is the very back of the contour. The deepest part. And that'll help it look even more dramatic. Then I'm gonna bronze with my NARS Laguna Bronzer. I have a jumbo size here. I feel like my neck needs it. I feel so pale. I don't think she has any blush on in this picture, so I'm not gonna put any on. So going into the lip, it's like a pinky, dusty brown kind of color. Really hard to explain, but I'm gonna see what I can piece together to make it work. That wasn't quite right. Hmm, that's not quite right either. Mm, that's too light. Okay, I think what I'm gonna do is just fill it in with this OG Lolita lip liner. I'm gonna put a little bit of Honey Love from MAC in the middle. Then I'm gonna use Fenty Gloss Balm on top. Oh yeah, we're good guys. We are in business. So, this is such an old hat. I got this for 4-H forever ago, and it's shaped, but I like mine like super shaped. But anyways, um, I think it's a resist all. I could be wrong, but you know. Anyways, um, I hope you guys like this. I love how this turned out. I love the blue colors. Like, I never do blue, so I need to do that more often. But yeah, I hope you guys like how it turned out as well. I love recreating looks because it's just fun to play with makeup and see what you can kind of come up with. Um, just so you guys know, let me pull up the message. I did ask Devin a while back what pigment she used. Oh, she didn't tell me the color. She said it's an Inglot pigment, the um, blue that she used. I just did my own thing, obviously. But I hope you guys like it. I will see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, like. Um, one question I have for you guys is, do you guys want to see, I've been really into watching those what I eat in a day videos. <laughs> kind of a guilty pleasure um, but I'm trying to be a little bit healthier and I feel like I would be more committed to being healthy if I like committed to making videos about what I'm eating and stuff so I don't know it's a thought if you guys want to see that let me know and I will see you guys in my next video bye guys